I am sorry for my lies and for lying to Congress and to our nation. I am sorry for actively working to hide from you the truth about Mr. Trump when you needed it most. For those who question my motives for being here today, I understand. I have lied, but I am not a liar. And I have done bad things, but I am not a bad man. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Michael Cohen, Donald Trump's former lawyer testifying before Congress about Trump being a racist. Now, there's much more to the testimony, which is still going on right now, but I had to take a break from that for a moment and talk about this particular thing. I do have video of this, so what I'll do right now is go ahead and roll that video. After we get done with that, I'll talk about what he said there. I'll give you my two cents. I'll put it in proper context. Then I wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. And while we were once driving through a struggling neighborhood in Chicago, he commented that only black people could live that way. And he told me that black people would never vote for him because they were too stupid. Okay, so you see that. You heard that now. Let's back up a little bit to explain what's going on. Michael Cohen has already pled guilty to lying to the Senate Intelligence Committee. He's already pled guilty. He already lied. Now, what he lied about was a certain date that Trump Tower Moscow came to an end as far as the deal being negotiated. He said it was January 2016, but it was really June 2016. And then he also lied about getting a tip from a Russian official about the whole situation. So he's already pled guilty to that, and he is also going to jail on tax fraud. So that's also a lie. You, you lied on your taxes. It's tax fraud. So he has three years, I think, for the tax fraud, and I'm not really sure how long for the lying to Congress about the Russia deal. So what I think is happening right now is that he's trying to cop pleas. He's trying to come out and give the Mueller team any kind of dirt they want on Trump because that is the whole point. They're just trying to get whoever is around Trump, was around Trump, loosely connected to him, anybody or any kind of little ticky tack charge to make them roll on Trump. So he's basically doing whatever he can to prevent from going to jail for a very long time. That's all this is in my humble opinion. I don't have that for a 100% fact, but that's what I think. He is snitching. S N I T H. Sorry, N word. I'm trying to come home. That's what this is. But for now, I digress away from that point. Let's get to what he actually said here about I'm riding through a neighborhood and Trump said this about the neighborhood. Look, I think that he's lying about that. This is all an attempt to smear Trump. Okay, that's just what it is. Because have you ever heard about Donald Trump being a racist? Do you think Michael Cohen would be the guy to break it when Trump is like 72 years old? Trump has been in New York for a very long time, around black folks for a very long time. He's been kind of a socialite, a party guy to a certain extent. If he were a racist, it would be known by now. And the reason why I say that he is lying is because, number one, he's already been convicted of lying to Congress who he's speaking to right now, so why wouldn't he lie again? Number two, if Trump were a racist, then why did he give Jennifer Hudson, the famous R&B singer, refuge in Trump Tower in Chicago after most of her family was shot and killed? Free of charge, no, no publicity. He just did that under the radar, okay? So it wasn't about trying to get attention because you probably didn't even know about that. And he didn't gain anything from it, really. So... If he's a racist, why do that? If he has this disdain and hate for black folks, why did he do that? If he's such a racist, then why was he given the awards by all these uh, black community organizations and black, you know, so-called leaders, your Al Sharptons, Jesse Jacksons, etc.? Why was he in pictures with Rosa Parks, Muhammad Ali, Shaba Ranks, if he's such a racist? Spike Lee came out and has said things about Trump negatively, alluding to racism and stuff like that. But Spike Lee, if Trump was a racist, then why are you in pictures with him fairly recently? When is this? This appears to be recent. You got a high HD quality picture. It appears to be from maybe three, four, five years ago. When did 
you, Spike Lee, figure out that Trump was a racist? This man is 72 years old. How did you just now figure out he's a racist? He's been in New York his whole life. You're also a New Yorker. Why are you just now figuring out that Trump is a racist? What makes you think that? Now, the reason why Michael Cohen's statement may be able to stick is, is based on certain things that the media have put out there that people can just link to and say, oh, I believe that because it is. The first thing is the whole Charlottesville situation, the whole good people on both sides thing. People took that as saying that the rally was a Klan rally. On one side, you had the Klan. On the other side, you had people that were against the Klan. That was not the case. The rally was about the statue of Robert E. Lee being on the campus of UVA in Charlottesville. People were there to protest the statue being there, and some were there to defend the statue being there. You had regular normies on both sides, college kids, because, again, it was at UVA. You had regular college kids that were not involved in any kind of political group, no hate group, nothing like that. You had people that just came from the community, people that came from other places, just regular, everyday folks that just came there for that particular purpose. You also had subversive groups, hate groups, KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, groups on the left and the right. So it wasn't like, oh, it was a Klan rally and you had anti-Klan people. It was a little bit of everybody there for their own particular purposes centered around the key point, which was the statue of Robert E. Lee. So when Donald Trump said that there were good people on both sides, he is correct. There were good folks on both sides of that particular argument of the statue. And there were also bad people on both sides of the particular argument about the statue. That's what he was saying. But the people who don't want to even hear that, they don't want to understand the context. They don't know anything about Charlottesville. They'll just run with the narrative of it was a Klan rally. It's a racist place. If you go there as a black person, you get killed. That's what they'll say. But moving right along to the next thing. They'll also go back to one of Donald Trump's uh, campaign speeches that what do you have to lose, which I agree with them 100 percent. They'll say, well, he was talking to black folks, talking about your schools are bad, your neighborhoods are bad, don't have jobs. Well, all those things are true. You can't say that Donald Trump is racist for telling the truth. Donald Trump got more of the black vote than Mitt Romney and John McCain. So if black folks thought that he was a racist, then I don't think that would be the case. Moving right along to the next thing. People also said that Donald Trump called African countries S-hole countries, okay? And Cohen brought it up again in the testimony, which I'll link some of it in the box below. But did he lie about the countries being S-holes if he did say that? And this has not been corroborated. Trump denied it. There's been no evidence, no videotape, nothing like that. You have, you know, witness, you know, people, random people saying that he said it. But who actually can confirm that? Let's just say he did say it. Is he lying? I mean, is he lying? <laughs> I mean, come on. We know that these countries are bad. Everybody knows that. People that live there know that. So it's not racist to tell the truth. So, I mean, this guy Cohen is really just trying to cop please. He's trying to get less time on the sentence. You know, anytime somebody has a motivation to lie, and some situation like this where they're about to go to jail, take what they say with a grain of salt. It may be true. It may not be true. But if you're being pressured by somebody to give up statements about someone else to get yourself lesser time, you're liable to say anything that comes to your mind. OK. And again, let's not forget that he's already been convicted of lying. This is already something that's been done. He's already lied. Now, maybe as part of a plea deal, plea bargain, he's now trying to give the Mueller team, and the American people, whatever he wants. I do not trust him for a moment. I believe he's lying about this whole situation. He's lied multiple times, talking about, I did not want to get into the White House. People have already come out and said, yes, you did want to get in the White House. You were complaining about not being in the White House as far as having the cabinet position. You wanted to be there. And I'll close with this. How are you going to be Donald Trump's lawyer for a decade and then all of a sudden at the end where you're about to go to jail, now you want to say he's a liar. Now you want to say he's a racist. Now you want to say he's a cheat. Now you want to say he's all this, that, and the third. It's like Omarosa. You were with Donald Trump, not with him in that way, but 
alongside him, working with him, working for him for like 15 years. So let me get this straight, Omarosa. As a black woman from the hood, you did not know Trump was a racist for that whole time. And if you did know he was a racist, then what made you stay there with him the whole time? What made you continue to get paid from him the whole time? At a certain point in time, you had to have known that he was a racist or somehow just a bad person that you did not want to be around. Okay. Trump also has a lot of black women that are around him right now. You got Katrina Pearson, Diamond and Silk, Stacey Patton, all kind of people that are around him. So if you're such a racist, then why is that the case? I really don't understand. The things that he is accused of saying, which are coming from a liar that's convicted, are not even as bad as what Obama said publicly on a panel that he got applause to. Talking about, oh, well, you know, you don't have to have these women around you twerking halfway naked. If you do, it says something about your character. You have an issue with your masculinity. He got deep down in the whole psychology of the whole situation. Barack Obama did about black men. And he also said about black men, you know, you got to raise your kids. You got to be fathers in the house berating, like just tongue lashing black men. If Trump said that privately or publicly, people would say that he's a racist. Trump is accused of being a racist by a liar. The statements he made are up for debate. Honestly, this is a whole big scheme to try and smear him and to try and get less time in the penitentiary. That's what snitches do so that's pretty much all i got what do you think do you think that donald trump is a racist if you think that way please explain to me why in the box i mean if he's a racist he's the worst racist ever <laughs> helping out black folks get money get jobs and you know helping black women randomly with no publicity just because he wants to do it i mean if he's a racist he's a terrible racist uh, do you think Cohen is lying to try and save his higher parts because he's about to go to the penitentiary? That's what I think. It makes the most sense to me. I mean, if you're about to go to jail to the federal penitentiary and you have an opportunity to testify before Congress to try maybe save some time off that, to try and make Trump look bad, to take him down with you, that's what you'll do. Maybe he's priming up for a book deal. Who knows? But whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.